I'm Bernie Howard, and we're going to take you on a tour of the entire show, so stay with us. This is DJNN. This year's remix got some phonics. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Electronic. I got it. Pop music. What the future flow? So I'm ready. Even if the sky is falling down. Well, we've moved upstairs to the Denon booth. It's a quite small booth, but quite surprising. Some of the products they have up here, including a brand new mixer. I've got Hot Toddy here that's going to take the microphone. Yes, he's going to take the microphone from me, and he's going to tell you a little bit about it. How's it going? What we have here is the Denon DNX1600, a fully MIDI, 32-bit DJ mixer. And uh, one of the great features about it is the new V-Link technology that Roland has introduced. And what we're... What we're able to do is uh, we'll take a V4 or V8 uh, video mixer and we'll be able to map it onto this X1600 and actually control some of the features on it. So I'm going to show you exactly what it does. By using the effects buttons here, I can actually control the effects that are on the V8 mixer here, which we have plugged in by a V-Link cable. I can actually go ahead and change the parameters there. And I actually can make him go to the music too. As you can see right there. So anything that we can do here on the V8, we can actually control it. I could take this and put it underneath the table and run the show just using the X1600 and whatever sources I have for my turntables. So you can also uh, AB mix on that? That's right. In fact, if I press the transformer button on the A here on the Roland, I can actually do that here on the X1600. Very cool. That's a uh, an awesome uh, way to mix video. Uh, you have another brand new mixer that you just put out, don't you? Right, the X1600. This is the new mixer here, the X1600. Oh, that's the X1600, but there was another one that I... The X1700, right? The X1700. X1700. The big brother of the X1600. Okay. Is that hooked up? Is that uh, available to look at here? Prototype. And uh, this has actually has two sets of, of effect banks, so I can actually run uh, effects on one channel and effect different effect on the other channel. Okay. And it's a high-end 32-bit MIDI mixer as well, and it has all the top-notch features of any mixer on the market. In fact, I consider it the best Pro DJ mixer on the market right now. The best. For DJ and Anna, I'm Sid Vanderpool. Thank you. Hot toddy. Bernie Howard here over at the Newmark Elisa Sakai booth, NAM 2010. We're here with Damian Anderson from Newmark to show us the brand new uh, Newmark uh, V7s. Uh, show us what's new. Well, Bernie, what we have here is the latest addition to the Newmark line, the V7 controller for Serato X. This package here is for the club working professional and it features the power of the itch software which enhances the effects these controllers individual pieces very similar to the ns7 you know a big request that we had hey we like the technology of the ns7 we would like to add our own mixer now you can do that with these two individual pieces it also has a direct effects controller for the software effects in serato so the NSFX, which is the controller piece for the NS7, is built right into this unit right here. A couple of other features that are really key about these two units. The transition between one laptop DJ to the next is seamless because you have a master here and a master there, and you can select from deck A to deck B. You can have two DJs working on two decks, playing two tracks, going back and forth seamless. Uh, virtual needle drop technology, 5 Q points, 24-bit sound quality. Rugged, it's the only controller as the NS7 that has the look touch of vinyl for Serato X. Shipping at the end of February. You answered my next question, and that's good. One more thing, how much is the V7 going to sell for on the street? I'm glad that you asked, Bernie. Each individual piece of the V7 retail price is $799. So for $1,600, you get two pieces of cutting-edge technology. 
very nice. The new Newmark V7s. Live from NAM 2010. Back to the studio. Welcome back to Sid's Picks at NAM 2010. I'm here with Joe from Odyssey Case, and they have a really, really compact video screen system for DJs. If you'll look over my shoulder here, this system right here fits in a small little bag. Everything you see right here, the stands, the crossbeam, and the screen is coming to you at right around street price is going to be around $249. So Joe, I know one of the big questions that DJs out there is going to have, uh, exactly, how do you clean this if it gets dirty? Just throw it in the washing machine with a cup of tie. That's, that's that simple, right? Okay. Now, how much is this, if you pack this up in a little bag, how much does it weigh? It weighs about 35 pounds, screen, two tripods, and all your uh, spances and budgies that go come with it. Now, if you buy the system and something happens to the screen, can you buy extra screens? Yes, you can. It's a basic screen, a 12 by 7 screen with uh, its sewing edges on in four corners with uh, four edges in the center also. Can you get bigger screens? Yes, we can. How big? Uh, 20 by 20, I believe, is the biggest screen that we're doing in this fabric. Okay, thank you very much, Joe. Here's another really cool Sid pick from Nam. It is the DJ Tech DJ Mouse. Um, it retails for like $99 with the software, and it also can be mapped to any software that you have. And look at some of these cool features it has on it. Andrew's going to pick it up and tell you a little bit about it. Absolutely. So this is a, another fully assignable uh, controller that you can use with Decadance, with, which the mouse ships with, or with any other software, whether it be Virtual DJ, uh, Tractor LE, whatever it may be. Um, it basically has uh, five different buttons here. It's got two of your regular mouse buttons so that you can cue any of your songs up. Um, it's got a scroll wheel here so you can scroll through the different tracks as well as another cue button here which allows you to basically hold down the button and allow the track to play. Um, the cool feature about this is that it basically allows you to press this button here and it, it gives a scratch functionality with a specific piece of software. Um, this scratch button here allows you to basically scratch moving the mouse left and right. Um, so this is just a very basic uh, scratch tool that anybody can basically become a DJ with. It allows you to install the software on the computer, um, plug in your mouse, and then basically you're ready to go and scratch. Thank you very much, Andrew. At NAMM 2010, we're at the Grundorf booth where I found another pick for DJs, which would be for uplighting. This is a new LED, well, I guess a Parkan, uh, they call it the G-Spot. It is a fold-up piece that folds up like that. Has an area to put extra cord in the bottom, and it hides those ugly park hands. Well, this is a shove. It's not that ugly, but it hides it anyway. Back behind. Thank you. And this is a Sid pick. One other Sid pick at the Grundorf booth is this new facade, which is made out of some heavy duty plastic front area. You can put your LED lights behind it, hide all the ugly cords, hide all the ugly gear, and you can even duck down behind it and hide your ugly face. But we won't go down that path. Once again, we're doing Sid's Picks at NAM for DJNN News.